destroy destroy birdie here how often do you smoke not often like here i'll tell you I'll, I'll, I'll tell you like how often i smoke cigars right i used to smoke often really i used to smoke often uh i would in the 90s i would go cuba come back with multiple boxes and have a like a large humidor and there's times i was smoking two three big cigars a day and it was too much right so i reduced it i've gone seasonal right so i hadn't gone to the cigar store the last cigar i smoked i think is with you guys live stream we did like end of summer last summer right so i hadn't been to the cigar store for about eight months now right and i went to the cigar store and i was i wasn't sure this morning i wouldn't pick one up right i wasn't sure what i was gonna get right but check this out i picked out uh boulevard royal corona again right a beautiful cigar really beautiful cigar right so this is my two go-to cigar i have i have you know a few to go to cigars i guess but when i want strong when i want kick when i want power boulevard royal corona okay but i went there and i was looking for it I, I mean i had it in mind but i was sort of browsing to see what else would hit my hit my face right you know what else would catch my eyes hit my face catch my eyes right so i was looking around and i'm looking at the cigars and there's a lot of this brand check this out there's a lot of cigars with this brand on it like this label on it like this black brown green i don't know what this is this label on it right and i'm looking around i'm going i don't know i don't know the cigar so you know nothing else is catching my eye i was thinking about picking up a couple of smaller coronas small because i'm working in the yard today you know put a small cigar in your mouth and smoke away and work away right so nothing popped my you know caught my eye right because they're all this i'm like who is this brand wow this must be some crazy brand they got multiple, you know hundreds of millions of dollars they set up tons of factories and they're bringing out cigars right and i said okay you know what uh yeah i'll, I'll take you know usual royal corona um boulevard royal corona so the guy goes to where i'm almost at and he opens a thing i go i'm looking what was the royal corona and he picks out this and he goes this is what he tells me i didn't know about this this is how idiotic bureaucracy is this is this is this is what happens when governments go too far when bureau bureaucrats decide how society should function how what people should think it's insane right so he pulls this out i go a boulevard royal corona he goes yeah i go what what happened with the label he goes oh canadian government put out a new regulation a few months ago right a few months ago <laughs> what's the snack today uh, uh, uh olives soaked in uh, water right soaked in water olives and they're uh, not olives olives almonds right so these have been soaked in water and you can freeze these by the way so i soak a whole bunch of almonds in water right let them sit for two three four days or whatever it is and whatever we don't eat we can freeze and then when you want to unthaw them you put it in a bowl right pour hot water on it and it thaws and then the skin check this out right the skin is really to come easy to come off right it just peels off right and you just pop this it's easier to digest right and you're not eating the skin the skin i don't know i'm pretty sure it has nutrients but it's it's easier on the tummy if you got you've got issues with nuts it's not a bad way to try it out maybe you won't have issues with nuts right so the guy says it's a new regulation the canadian government put out that every cigar has to come with a generic label right so in cuba at the factories they're putting these labels on the cigars i go oh really that's i use a different word than crazy but <laughs> that's idiotic <laughs> you know he goes yeah and then all you do you pull this out and the old label is on it right because if you're smoking a cigar labels are important this is the brand that you like just imagine going to a grocery store and everything has a generic label on it right everything right how how hard is it going to be to shop right <laughs> because no one stands out and you can't identify with what you like you got to read it all right i came back 
home, told my partner, man, if I had a lot of money, I'd sue the Canadian government. Tell them they're being bigoted, they're being racist against people who are illiterate. Because if you can't read, you can't pick out a cigar. You don't know, right? And if you don't have good eyes, you can't read this behind the count, like behind. <laughs> like, where's, where's the boulevard, man? <laughs> like, what? Right. So that's how I often smoke cigars. Right. If uh, you know, long way to answer your question. It's been a few months since I went to the cigar store to pick up a cigar.